Hey friends, um, welcome to June, yay! I apologize I didn't get May's readings done. Some of you were kind of like sending emails or leaving comments on different videos saying, what the fudge, where is May? Um, and if you follow on the Facebook page, that's a better place to keep updated with what's going on. I'm going to make a video about, um, you know, if, for those of you who have followed me for a long time, you know that I used to be super, super consistent and like ahead of the game. Um, but the last like year and a half to two years has been complete upheaval and like just crazy shit in my life. So I'm going to make a video about that later because there's like a lot of spiritual like lessons and things in that that a lot of people will benefit from, including um, like, you know, how to predict and navigate your way through different things that come up if you were to read your own tarot cards and like, anyway whatever. The thing I wanted to say before we started our reading is that moving forward, like after June, yeah, I would say like probably about August of this year, everything, all the ducks should be in a row and things will get back on track so you can look forward to that. Uh, but in advance of that, I wanted to let you know, for those of you who are intending to purchase um, video readings, throughout like the first two weeks of June, there might be a delay in those. I um, am having a nose surgery, my nose is broken and it's causing sinus infections a lot. So I'll we'll have like this big thing on my face. And so um, like a little, uh, what do they call that, a splint? And then maybe some black eyes after that. So I don't know how up for video reading I'm going to be uh, straight out the gate. But I will be keeping on top of email readings and phone readings. So there's that. Um, now, this month, what the reading looks like for you guys is what you can expect in work with your money. Because sometimes those are related, sometimes they're not. In your love life, whether you're single, coupled, or in an on-again, off-again relationship, like an undefined relationship. Maybe it's new and it's not Facebook official. Maybe, um, you know, you're polyamorous. Maybe you're the other woman in a uh, relationship or, I guess, the other man, you know, whatever. Maybe it's a sugar daddy situation or a, a sugar baby situation. What do they call it when the guy, leave it in the comments if you know, when the guy, is it a kept man? If it's the dude that has a sugar mama? Anyway, yeah, if you know, let me know because I'm curious. And then we're also going to be looking at, you know, just kind of socially, like what do your relationships look like or what do you need to be aware of for this month, um, whether that is friends or family kind of situations. We're going to talk about your lucky day, um, which chakras you need to work on, what is your crystal of the month, uh, so many things in these readings this month. So um, let's just get started with it. Hi Capricorn, welcome to June. Okay, so where we're going to start is, I'm going to let you know that the chakras to work on are your heart and your sacral chakras. So your heart chakra is all about like love and forgiveness and compassion for others, for yourself. But then your sacral chakra is the one that I often call the fear chakra. So that's about releasing fears. It can also be tied to your sexuality. So um, if you're going to do any specific meditations or anything this month, those would be the ones, if I were you, that I would focus on. Your lucky day this month is the fifth, okay? So um, a couple other signs also had the fifth as their lucky day, and I believe they were all earth signs. Um, yeah, let's see, Virgo and who else? Taurus. So um, if you have a lot of earth in your chart, then that's going to be your luckiest day. Okay, so let's get started. What is up with, oh, before I even asked a question, they're just like, look, um, you might have these kind of moments where you're really, really happy this month, and that's an awesome thing, but then don't overthink it. Because if you're overthinking, like, why am I feeling so joyous right now? Like, what's really good? What's changed? Like, what is the reason for this sentiment? You're going to confuse yourself. Um, there is a natural confusion this month for you as to, like, what is my biggest priority? What is going to be um, where I focus my time and my energy? And then, you know, also with my heart chakra, all of my love. But... 
they're saying, um, you know, if you're just kind of feeling happy, roll with it, go with the flow, appreciate it, express gratitude because we don't want to overthink it because it can diminish our happiness. Okay. So, um, where was I going to start? What to expect in work this month? So what they're saying is think about what it is that you want long-term, um, in a career path. So, you know, what are the things that would bring me a lot of happiness and joy? What are the things I hope for? Do I want a bigger salary? Do I want to work with people um, that are fun or funny? Do I want to work more independently? Do I want to work as a team? Do I want to start my own business? All of these things. Because what they're saying is that the if you start thinking about these things this month, that it's very likely not only um, will you start the ball rolling, moving in the direction of those dreams, because the star card I often call the hope card or the wish card, but you can achieve something that is bigger and even better than you ever thought possible. Now, for a lot of you, this is going to be about releasing an old position. So, you know, maybe you want to make more money. It's like, okay, well, I'm not going to stay put in this specific company where, you know, I was hoping to slowly grow and achieve promotions and things like that. This is about um, jumping ship and going somewhere else. For a lot of you, in order to achieve the um, work outcomes that you want, it is going to require you to abandon something, to leave something, to cut ties with it. And I'm getting that card a second time. So, you know, for some people that can be a mindset, but for a lot of people, it's actually leaving a job in search of a different one or starting your own business you know and but not doing it slowly like oh, okay I'm gonna work on this at night you know starting to grow it and they're like no it's like jumping ship um, they're saying like a lot of you know that this is actually the case for you a lot of you have been thinking about this a lot of you um, will understand or like there will be like a lot of resonating truth in that and if you're super honest with yourself um, you'll know exactly which direction to head with that they're saying you're afraid though because see how we're talking about the heart chakra, what we truly want. And then again with the um, fear chakra, with that sacral one, what they're saying is you're afraid that it won't satisfy you, that it won't satiate you, that you'll just want to bounce another time. Um, and so what they're saying is, though, you know, abandon that mindset. Let that go. Your lack of confidence is silly. Um, they're saying that you already kind of cognitively, like mentally, you know that there's no reason not to feel confident about this, but you're allowing, a lot of you are allowing your fears to hold you back and that's not for your highest good. So what's up with your money in the month of June? And they say, um, <laughs> well, for those of you that are switching jobs, quitting jobs, um, something like that. What they're saying is just, you know, be careful with it. Typically, in order to, with like the law of attraction and stuff, like the more we give out, the more we get back, they say just be cautious with that. Don't be over generous um, this month. They say make sure to take very careful action with your money. Um, they're saying that you might feel as though you don't have the appropriate support around you when it comes to like financial and stability type of energies. However you do, you're just maybe not asking for help. So um, I know it's very uncomfortable to ask people for a loan or, you know, maybe you borrowed money to somebody and be like, hey man, do you have that? Because I like kind of need it right now. Um, doesn't feel really good, but this is the month where you want to reach out and ask for help or, um, you know, ask people to pay you back, all of that stuff. Because if you don't ask, you don't receive. And this month, I think people are willing to support you and help you. So they say have conversations about this kind of stuff, actually. Um, you know, for example, student loans, fill out the paperwork to get them deferred this month. That will be very, very helpful. Uh, for the rest of you, if you're not kind of jiving with that whole work scenario, or maybe you don't work or whatever, they're saying for your money stuff um, that this month you will have a really good connection, like almost like a spiritual energy with your funds. They're saying, um, but there are going to be a few of you who have blocks to receiving it. So make sure when you're out, you know, let's say you go out to dinner and somebody offers to pick up the check, be like, oh, yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. Instead of, you know, kind of saying, no, 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 I got it. Or I'll pay half or I'll pay the tip. Just, just allow it because this is how abundance flows to us. They're saying um, there's something that you can't see about um, your 
Okay, so this is kind of confusing. So for those of you who are maybe jumping ship from a job or you're quitting or you know you were recently fired, something like that, and I said, be careful and not be too generous this month, what they're saying is, for those of you who are not in that situation, the opposite is what you want to do. Because remember how I talked about, you know, the more we give out, the more we get back. You know, being, um, maybe you go and you get a coffee and you tip the barista like $5 and it just makes their day. And so now there's a love energy attached to that money because you made somebody's day. And so then it comes back to you, you know, sixfold or 36 fold, like you might have a gambling win, something like that. They're saying the more that you connect the heart chakra love energy with money for those of you who are not, um, you know, jumping ship, abandoning a job, this will pay off for you. It will be really, really great for you. And they say, you know, many of you are just not spiritualizing your money enough. And if you were to do that, then um, you would reap huge rewards, especially in June. Okay, so for the, we're going to talk about, I guess, um, single Capricorns first. So singles. They're like, you feel like you're not really headed in any sort of direction towards finding your forever person. They say, um, you know, but how many of you are just like kind of not feeling putting any effort into that? They're saying a lot of you are maybe not um, online dating. You're not really approaching anyone. Maybe you have a crush, but you don't got any way to try to talk to them. That sort of a thing. They're saying this is a lack of confidence issue here. Like maybe you feel like you don't have enough to offer kind of a thing. And they're saying like, this is totally a mindset that we need to shift. So, you know, if you want to find that forever person, what is the guidance in June? And they say, be hopeful, be optimistic, be a childlike, like totally just trust that the right person is going to show up in the right time in the right way. And it's frustrating as we wait for that. But they're saying, you know, having that full trust, like without really knowing who they are or when they're going to show up or like, you know, that sort of a thing is hard. It's not easy, but that's the mindset you want to be in. They say like, a lot of you kind of know that this is the truth. Like you have that, you can see where you self-sabotage a little bit. And they say this is a month where if you take a very concerted effort to reach out to other people to start conversations, you have to be the, um, I, I was going to say aggressor, but you know, you don't want to have an aggressive conversation, but you need to be the initiator. You need to be the person reaching out and trying to connect with other people. They're saying, you know, this month we can't, a lot of things about, you know, the location and the timing of our forever person, we can't control. That's up to the universe. Um, but they go, you're actually not really manifesting much right now anyway. So why don't you go ahead and co-create this reality? Why don't you take control? If you need to have some semblance of control in your romantic life, then this is the way that you do it. I mean, you go out and you say, hey, I think you're cute. Um, do you happen to be single? Do you want to meet me for coffee sometime? Or something like that. Um, basically, that's what they're saying is the key for those of you who are looking for love that you want to find that person in the month of June. For a lot of you, that's going to pay off. Um, they're saying like the challenge here is that some of you are like way too hard on yourselves. You know, like you kind of question, hey, um, am I being, how am I coming across? Am I coming across as too aggressive? Um, am I coming, and I guess that's where that aggressive word comes when I said aggressor. You know, that's the self-talk that we have. And they say it's challenging to change that mindset and to talk to ourselves differently, but see it from a different perspective because people don't perceive you that way. Now, for those of you who are coupled, they're saying, um, you know, there's some things that are maybe not being discussed or argued about. And we might think like we're brushing it under the rug to not start a fight or an argument, but that's actually the least best way to handle it this month, essentially. Uh, what they're saying here is like, you know, any fears that you have, they're just kind of silly. Like the past is different 
than the present and the future. History doesn't have to repeat itself if we just kind of let it go. So remember that. They're saying you're going to manifest whatever kind of a reality you want in your relationship. And so, you know, where we're focusing our attention, you know, where our focus goes, our energy flows. So, you know, you might have this thought like, oh, well, when I bring things up with uh, my husband or my girlfriend, they tend to be very... Um, defensive. So maybe you decide, okay, I don't want to stir the pot. I don't want to make things rough. But they're saying, you know, that was then. Maybe your partner has done some personal growth or, you know, recently read an article and you don't know that they're trying harder to be less that way. Um, so they're saying, you know, it's important to bring those things up. If you don't, they're saying um, some of you might end up going through breakups. Um, and if you do, they're saying, you know, you might not feel like this is like very spiritual kind of information. You might not feel, you know, that this was necessarily like intuitively. It might not feel right. It might not feel like the appropriate path. Um, and so they say, but that doesn't mean it's not going to work more in your favor. They say this is a twofold issue, actually. So it's about bringing it up, releasing the fear, opening up that heart chakra again with both of those things, and then also being open to receive love from your partner, loving communication. So um, I feel as though some of you might be sort of shutting down and not really... Uh, allowing your partner to show you love in the way that they prefer to do that. And they're like, but you know that you're doing this, so just fucking stop. Uh, for those of you in undefined relationships, I've got that you don't really have a clear picture of what's going on here, um, but another part of you doesn't really want to, and that's the reason why. They say big changes are coming for you. What kind of changes? They say the changes are going to be for the better, um, and things will be different than before. So that kind of seems to me like... Um, in a lot of ways, more correlated to what's going on for coupled Capricorns. They say, for those of you in undefined relationships, um, again, there might be some breakups this month, but if there are breakups, it's only setting you up to be in a better situation than before, to be in a better type of relationship. And so they're saying, you know, it'll help you to kind of get your shit in order, to have everything balanced, to have a better schedule, things like that. Now, for those of you that that is not what will happen for you, they're saying it's still really important for you, as with the um, coupled Capricorns, to make sure that you're open to receiving love. Now, I feel like a lot of this kind of goes back to our fears, and that's why with the next chakra, which is our solar plexus, and it's about our confidence and our self-worth, our fears are inhibiting us from feeling sometimes deserving of all of this love or whatever that somebody wants to give to us. Sometimes we push it away because we're afraid. You know, maybe um, you push somebody away because you're afraid that you'll get connected to them and then they'll leave you. There's a lot of reasons why somebody could be in that sort of a situation, but make sure you're open to receiving, okay? Um, in regards to your social life, which would be like your friends or trying to make new friends, your family, stuff like that, they're saying big changes are coming for the better as well. And they're saying um, it might not feel as like kind of comfortable or typical as usual as previous, but I feel like to me, this is almost like new friends are coming along or, you know, maybe a baby is born, something like that, that brings a lot of love and joy and happiness into your life. But the thing is, is the way that this is going to play out for the majority of you is that it's almost as though, you know how like when you work on yourself and your vibration raises, um, sometimes friends from the past kind of vibrate out and that makes us sad. But what it does is it leaves a space for a new awesome friend to flow right in, okay? And so these things are normal and they happen but they don't feel good in the moment but they're for a higher, higher good. So as you know, old relationships kind of become less strong or they go away completely, new better ones replace them that are stronger and more connected, more joyous. And so 
that's what I'm saying here is, you know, any changes that happen, anybody that kind of falls off the grid, let them fall because a new um, energy that is full of love is coming for you. And they say the weird thing, um, again, though, in this situation is like, you know, if people vibrate out of our lives, if we kind of let go of those relationships, similar to what we had for the singles in love, um, you might need to go out of your way to try to grow friendships or initiate that contact. So, you know, maybe you have a hobby, maybe you, um, take an astrology class or something and there's somebody there and you like, um, you know, their feedback or, you know, their comments or questions, start a conversation about that because you already have something in common. You like the same um, you both have an interest in astrology. So be like, hey, you know what? Um, I really think you have a lot of interesting viewpoints and things to say. I just moved here or maybe you didn't and you're like, you know what? I'm looking to make new friends. Would you like to meet me for a coffee and talk astrology or something like that? It's up to you this month to be uh, the sort of initiator of conversations. That's the big thing for you. They're saying like, if you don't, then those friendships from before are just gone and they're over the ones that might be vibrating out of your life. And then nothing's going to come in if you're not going out and chasing that. So this month, you pursuing people um, with your own friendliness, like working up the courage, releasing that fear <laughs> to do that is going to be um, what's going to bring you a lot of joy, contentment, happiness, and actually greater balance and stability into your life. Now, um, as far as your crystal of the month goes before I get into some of these other things you have the brown zebra jasper which looks like this okay so if you want one of those you can click on the zodiac crystals on my website and um, they're pretty cheap they come with like a I mean, you could also get one from your rock store, too, if you have one. But they're already cleansed and charged and ready to go. They come with a video series on how to use crystals and um, an info sheet that says, like, which angels are corresponding to it, how they help you physically and, you know, spiritually and all those things. So with this one, it's a little bit more of a slower moving energy. You're not going to notice the results of it as quickly as some of the other crystals. Uh, but this one's really good for grounding, for protection. Um, it will give you feelings of like comfort and harmony. And you know, what's interesting about this one is that it releases a lot of your fears, which is kind of a focus for us this month. Um, it gives us a lot of courage, a lot of determination. So if you're going to be going out and looking for new friends and new partners, Absolutely, this will be wonderful. Now, when remember when I when the reading started and they said like, hey, you know, there might be this sort of confusion energy for you this month. This is what's going to help you a lot, actually, because what it does is it, is it unveils hidden feelings like, you know, where is this coming from? It inspires self-honesty. It um, gives you like really rapid reflection, even though um, in certain ways the stone is slower moving. It increases your imagination, which might help you. Um, if you were going to switch jobs or something like that or start your own business, like we also mentioned in the work section, it uh, transforms ideas into like actions that we take. So it helps with so many things. It purifies and aligns all of your chakras. It increases your organizational skills, um, can help you with dream recall, gets rid of stress, chronic illness, um, faster project completion, all of these things. There's so many more things that it does. So if you order one, you'll get the full, um, all the deets. But anyway, moving on. Um, so this month, they say that truth is the theme. Okay. Now it says sands may shift, but a solid foundation is internal, right? So imagine yourself like as a building in a desert, you know, the sand might blow all over the place, but you're strong if you're super honest with yourself. And then going back to that zebra jasper, that's really going to help. Um, that's kind of your theme. Now, your angel card, it doesn't have a specific angel attached to it this month. This month it says, don't hate, meditate. Um, thank you, angels, for guiding me 
to love through my meditations. And so, you know, kind of going back to if you do meditate, or some people can do that, like through walking, things like that, everybody has a different way of connecting to spirit, but actual meditation, focusing on the heart chakra and the sacral chakra, this is going to help you so, so much to be open to receive not only that money that we talked about, but also love and new friendships, loving energies. So your power color of the month is cyan and it says build your confidence well of course it does because that's going to be the biggest block to you know being able to take those actions that i said that we should take and so um with this one let me see okay it gives you confidence helps you to believe in yourself balances your body systems give you clarity in times when you need to make choices i mean i couldn't make these correspond with one another better if I had, you know, planned to pick them instead of randomly drawing them. Isn't it so cool how that happens? Um, so anyway, they're saying, you know, you'll, if you increase your confidence, you're going to feel more happy. You're going to get what you want, blah, blah, blah. So I'm looking for the affirmation here. I embrace my confidence, happiness, and clarity, you know, with this color. And so a way that you can use it instead of just wearing this color or um, you can imagine it kind of coming through the crown chakra of your head, going off your feet, but you can also pull that into your heart chakra and also into your sacral chakra. We don't need to have like, you know how guided meditations a lot of times are like, okay, imagine a green lotus flower or something. And then you don't have to do it that way. Just like you can breathe in that cyan color energy as well. And then kind of exhaling, you know, the bullshit, the garbage, the um, lies that we tell ourselves. <laughs> okay, so your number energy is new beginnings. It's a one. Okay, so there were a lot of things where like, hey, big changes are coming. And we saw that death card a few times. But, you know, a death is just like a new beginning. It's a rebirth. It's a new start. It's a number one energy. And so um, I want you to notice that this card is orange correlating to that sacral chakra. So they're like, you get to get to decide how these next wonderful things that we're asking to kind of come into our life go. If we enter these new beginnings with fear, then we're going to feel anxiety through this whole next cycle of everything that's going to happen for us. But if we can kind of release that and trust the universe and feel good about ourselves and being open to receive, you know, saying the past is the past, the future and the present, like don't have to be repeat patterns. You know, we have just completed a cycle of learning and, you know, patterns and we're letting that go and starting new ones. And so, um, your affirmation here says, my consciousness is filled with healthy, positive, loving thoughts that reflect themselves in my experience. Now notice the colors in this one are mostly pink. All It's the other color for the heart chakra aside from green. People will use them interchangeably, but then also orange, that fear chakra. And so, um, you know, that's where we really want to be kind of focusing our attention, First of all, you know, kind of recognizing what are our fears, releasing them, and then being open to new possibilities. And so, you know, coming back to this color where it was talking about increasing our confidence and kind of like our faith and our trust in the universe, we have three, which is like a number of fate or divine energy. And then we have a five, which is like, you know, the divine energies kind of bring to us sometimes some disharmony, some discord. Like, for example, when friends vibrate out of our life, but it's for a good reason. And so what there's, it's like for a greater, higher purpose down the road. Oftentimes the worst things that happened to us ended up to be the biggest blessings, you know, as we learned our lessons and moved through them. Um, as I'm recording this, this is the 27th. So if you follow on Facebook or you don't follow on Facebook, but you can go to the, um, the posts for today, for May 27th, and the one that I released today was talking about exactly that, you know, um, that oftentimes the things that kind of suck, like push us in a new direction. And what they're saying for you is, you know, eights are all about speed and abundance and good things coming. And so when we combine all of those numbers, that's what, you, what you're at. So good. I can't wait to see how June turns out for you. I love you so much. 
Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!